I have heard it said that vision is the impulse pulling us to distinguish who and what we are. That it's the divine adventure into self-discovery where our greatest attributes are activated. What are your dreams? What are your life dreams? Have you ever thought about it? When was the last time you laid in bed and said, God, what are the dreams you have for me in my life? What do you desire experiencing and living through me? You know, you and I are worthy of living a life of bliss, fulfillment, and abundance. But unless we're clear about what that is, and unless we put our time, treasures, and talents into that vision, it's inevitable that we're gonna create much of the same kinds of experiences we've experienced in the past. Why? Because life doesn't change unless we change. Well, all of you have had dreams and aspirations throughout our lives, and our job is to partner with our dreams, put feet to our commitments, and to step into action. So when you study dreams, in general, your dreams fit into about four or five categories what you'd like to own or have, what you would like to do or experience, where you'd like to go or travel, who you'd love to be or become, and also what you'd really like to contribute. That's the philanthropy. Well, I have a fun exercise for you. I've included a tool called the Life Wheel. Look for the link and print the Life Wheel. And you're going to notice the life wheel has eight wedges and the eight wedges represent the eight most important areas of a human being's life. First, financial. Second, health. Third, spouse or significant other, other or other. <laughs> Fourth, most important relationships. Fifth, personal growth, spirituality, your faith. Six, fun and recreation. Seventh, physical environment. And eighth, career. So I want to invite you to schedule an hour and give each of these areas a score on a scale of one to 10 based on your present fulfillment level. And after you score each section, you're gonna ask yourself, what would make this area an absolute 10? What would make this ideal? And if you complete this exercise, you're going to discover hidden dreams. They're going to permeate through the pages of your writing. And here's your challenge. I want you to complete your life wheel and write about what you would achieve and what you'd experience in each area if each area was an absolute 10 on a scale of 1 to 10. All right? Like what would be ideal, your ideal fulfillment level? If it were a 10, what would you be experiencing? And then Take some time, relax in bed during the morning or evening following the, the exercise. Do it for three days. After you complete that life wheel, just lay in bed and ask yourself these questions. Ask yourself, what would I love to experience? Or what would I love to own? What would I love to have? Where would I love to go? Where would I love to travel? And then ask yourself, what attributes do I want to evolve? You know. Is it esteem? Is it confidence? Is it joy? Is it determination? Is it faith? And who would I love to be or who would I love to become? So, and then last, what would I like to contribute? And last, I want to invite you to schedule an appointment with yourself sometime during December. Create your ideal vision board for 2014. And I want to challenge you to visit my Lifeline business page, Steve Wilshire, lifeline coaching and education and i want you to share your greatest dream with me what is the greatest dream you have for your life so i want to hear from you creating an extraordinary life is a choice what's yours make it a great day love and success